How's it going guys? I am Dave from the Kodo back with another tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to go start to finish or start to uh, to visualization of the Magic Mirror uh, application. Now, a lot of people have put out tutorials on this and three quarters of the tutorial ends up being creating the actual mirror and building that. I'm going to skip that. That is very, there's so many tutorials on that. There's no reason to spend time showing you how to cut wood. I'm going to show you how to get the Magic Mirror installed and running. And as you can see on the screen here, I have Putty up and running, which I'm going to log into my Pi before this time's out. Oops, it is Pi. We are logged in. I have already done an update and an upgrade. And on the bottom right of your screen, you can see here's my webcam. A little laggy but it has my pie attached to a monitor off to the side so that that will be where the magic mirror shows up uh, I don't use this in the form of an actual mirror I use this in the form of just kind of like an information panel obviously if you put this behind uh, the mirror and build it into it you can show you how to get this up and running and then in the future there will be some additions to modules uh, all the instructions I'm going to use here I'm going to put in the link in the description down below so if you want to go check that out I will also do a more streamlined quick version of this install where it just shows you do this do this do this done uh, this can be a little bit more in depth but hopefully it's helpful to you so the first thing we're going to do is obviously get your Raspberry Pi set up uh, I have tutorials on my site or on my channel to show how to do that get those up and running, get it updated, get it upgraded, and then this is where we're going to jump. For the manual installation of this, we're going to start off right with grabbing it. So we're going to do a git clone. Now I'm going by the instructions on the site here, um, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you some things that are missing to help you get this installed. I'm going to kind of do it as the instructions say, and then tell you what you need to do to fix it. Because there are some pieces that are, that are missing to make this process a little smoother and if you don't dig around you're gonna miss some parts here so what I'm gonna do is a git clone uh, and the actual magic mirror um, application here this is gonna go out it's gonna grab magic mirror it's gonna bring it back in <clears throat> and if we do and I'll ask you can see that magic mirror is now installed there I'm gonna go into that folder see those are all my files there now the next instructions say to do an npm install and an npm start and it should just fire up now let's see if we can do that it doesn't know what npm is so what I'm gonna end up doing is sudo apt-get sudo apt-get install uh, I'll bring that back up in just a second once this finishes. I didn't realize it was going to fire off so quickly. But what you're going to do is an sudo apt-get npm install. Alright, so that's all done. It takes about two or three minutes depending on your uh, network speed and whatnot. But that uh, command I ran again was once I was in the Magic Mirror folder, I did sudo apt-get install npm. Okay? So now that that's done and that's installed, now we can do an npm install inside of the Magic Mirror folder. And now my Raspberry Pi knows what it's, it's supposed to do when I use this command. The install process looks a little bit different than the typical uh, Raspberry Pi install, but that's because it's using a different application to do this install. So I'm going to cut again, and once this goes through, I will be right back. Now, once that install has completed, and that does take 5 to 10 minutes, you're going to come back and you're going to do one more thing in SSH before we actually jump over to the Raspberry Pi over here. And then I put the steps that we've actually done this in uh, right down there at the bottom of the screen, you can see. So, what we're going to do is from inside of the Magic Mirror folder, we're going to do... Oh, we're going to re-log in. From inside of the Magic Mirror folder, we're going to do a git pull space and and 
npm install. And what this is going to do is it's going to reach out to the, you would think that it's already up to date, but there's a application that needs to be installed called Electron. And this is going to grab that, it's going to install it, and everything's going to be great. That's the last thing we need to do before we actually see something happen on the monitor. So do that. This takes less than two minutes. Once it gets back to the prompt, we're going to jump over to the full screen. And I know it's a little bit fuzzy. Bear with me. Recording a screen is not the easiest thing in the world. So I'm going to go into the Magic Mirror folder. I opened up a terminal prompt on uh, on the Raspberry on the Raspberry Pi. I'm gonna go into CD Magic Mirror, and I'm gonna do an npm space start. There are ways of setting this up so this auto happens once the uh, Raspberry Pi reboots or if it shuts down. For whatever reason, when it comes back on, it'll automatically do that. I'll put that in another video, but this is just the bare bones. Get the magic mirror up and running. Now, this is the default settings for the magic mirror. This is I haven't changed anything. I'm going to go over configuration and whatnot in other videos because it's short, it's quick. This is go from Raspberry Pi, fresh install, to magic mirror running on a monitor or a TV and you can see here so we've got uh, we've got to mess around with the date and the time uh, where I am right now it's not five o'clock uh, you've got the the US holidays you can change this if you're not in the US in the configuration there's this part right here is the complement section I end up taking this off if you're using it behind a mirror it makes a little bit more sense but using it as an information panel this is kind of stupid and then down here at the bottom is uh, latest headlines in the news so now when you add modules, you have all of this space, either up here, this section, you have all this space to work with if you want to add more modules. And in other videos, I'm going to show you how to add these modules, specific ones, uh, like the X, XKCD uh, comic of the day, I'm going to show you how to add those. But this is what we wanted, this is where we're at. Fresh install of Raspbian to a magic terminal, we'll call it magic mirror terminal, up and running, ready to go. So hopefully this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, put them in the comments section. And I'll answer what I can. Check out my channel for more tutorials on this, adding modules, adding, changing the configuration, that kind of thing. But like always, guys, good luck and have fun.